you know, I realized I don't get many views on Overwatch videos, and I thought that maybe it's me. M maybe I'm not doing a good enough job, but no, people are legitimately not interested in this game. So, if you don't have players playing Overwatch, why would anyone watch videos about Overwatch? But I gotta say, it's a masochistic thing of me where I like talking to the walls because it's such a train wreck. Every day, there's another gift that keeps on giving. If it's not Blizzard having bugs which steal people's money, uh, then it's uh, people working at the company calling the cops on the players. I mean, look, this must be a whole new branch in advertising. Th this must be what woke capitalism marketing looks like. Right? Like, first you insult the players, you call them racist, you call them sexists, uh, and then you call the cops on them. I mean, that, that is such a beautiful way of doing PR. You know, wh why didn't people think about this sooner? So, uh, apparently, another bug, right? Like, apparently this entire lunch has been bug-ridden, where people who had the original game, who had Overwatch 1, are unable to access the characters that they paid for. So, obviously, it makes people a little bit upset, especially streamers who are making a living out of this. Uh, my advice to them, find a new game, but if you're going to play Overwatch, you have to deal with this shit, right? So, this streamer, by the name of Benji Rin, got a little bit uh, hot with one of the community managers at Blizzard. And... He got into a conversation, eventually the community manager explained that, okay, this is a bug, we're working on it. And Benjamin said, no, uh, you need to work on it right now, or I will see you in the streets. Okay, now this uh, shook the Blizzard developer to the core. I mean, look, wh when you are sitting behind the keyboard and someone tells you something like this, uh, it causes a feeling of great dread, of huge despair, so... Uh, the Blizzard community manager responded with, I am certain you regret saying that, alright? Like, he used his mind control abilities, his child Xavier got into the brain of Mr. Benjamin and said, I know that you are regretting that, so I will ignore the threat of violence. Okay, over the computer, right? Like, over the internet. The, the ability to punch the screen and have the fist coming up from the other side hasn't been invented yet. But, like, this Blizzard developer is very afraid. I mean, who knows? I mean, maybe Mr. Benjamin is a computer hacker man, and, and he has figured out ways of, of hurting people over the internet. I mean, it's possible, you know? Like, we, we live in very progressive times, so it, it is very likely that this has happened. So, you know, he was afraid for his safety. But, unfortunately, Mr. Benjamin didn't get the hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh, you don't live in a world where it's we the people anymore. It's we the corpo. And there is a hierarchy, that, that is a position of power and dominance. And uh, Mr. Andy, the community manager at Blizzard, has power over you, right? Because he is empowered by the multi-billion dollar corporation. He is higher on the social ladder. He gets more respect and you need to treat him as such. Uh, and if you don't, if you say, you better sort that out ASAP, well, he's going to call the cops on you. Great PR move, by the way. I fully endorse it. I hope Blizzard does more. I, I hope you call the cops on every single one of your customers. Because uh, I'm generally curious to see how your business is going to flourish after that. I, I'm really interested in seeing, uh, you know, the customer review. <laughs> I'm calling the cops on them. Uh, now, I know that in the internet la-la land of uh, the, the, the culture that was created between social media and Twitch... And all of the other, like, you have a culture of safety and comfort. And if someone tells you, I will see you on the streets, uh, uh, that creates a feeling of huge dread and despair to the point where you have to move house and then you're going to appear on MSLSD saying how afraid you are. Uh, but in the real world, where adults live, uh, that is not a death threat, okay? <laughs> I have seen road rage. I, I have seen people saying stuff to each other while driving. And they're still covered by free speech. Like, mano el mano. You know, like, two people, they have a car crash and a little altercation on the street. And no crime is committed. So, I'm telling you, uh, having grown up in a dangerous neighborhood, having grown up in the hood, I am telling you that what has transpired here is still free speech. And even if it wasn't, okay? Even if it wasn't, and let's assume you legitimately believe that some rando over the internet 
is going to cause you harm, I would still think that calling the cops on them may not be the best PR move that a company can have. Like, th this might actually get you to lose customers. Like, you can be in the right, and you can still manage to lose people. Like, for example, Metallica, if you guys remember them, uh, when Napster was uh, giving away their albums through piracy, Metallica decided to sue their fans. Now, they were in the right. However, suing their fans made them lose a lot of money. So I'm just telling, you know, I, I guess like this is woke America. This, this is what happens when the employees do not care about their company's well-being. Because they, they believe that the money falls out from the sky. Like when you pull shit like this and your company loses money, then you might be able to get paid less. Or other people from your company might get fired because the company cannot pay for you. But like you, you need to understand that it's not Blizzard giving you money. It's the customer giving you money. So when you behave like this, even if you were in the right, it's still not a good way to do business. Now, what's interesting is that, of course, you know, the, this toxic culture of absolute pathetic weakness that exists in modern America, they sided with the community manager. So many Overwatch fans, including Overwatch League caster Leg Day, supported the developer and blasted the streamer for his threatening remarks. Again, the threatening remarks were, I will see you on the streets, which... Is there even such a thing as internet trash talk anymore? Like, is there, you know, we used to call these people keyboard warriors. It's like, yeah, on the keyboard, you're, you you have the big dick and you swing it around. But in real life, you're like a puppy. You know, even in prison, th they have this thing called uh, the cell warrior. So when you have a lockdown and everyone is behind bars and, and they can't go into the yard, uh, then you have the person that starts trash talking. And it's like the... The cell warrior, because in the cell, he's the warrior, you know, he's taking everyone, but like in reality, he's not. Which obviously is what's happening here. I mean, let, let's be honest, do you honestly think that a streamer is going to actually find where this person lives and dedicate so, so many resources and amount of his time to actually meet him in the streets? Like, of course not, but, but we have to pretend, okay? Like, the circus is ongoing, and we have to pretend that, yes, yeah, the, the, the streamer is such a danger, no. Right? And I'm pretty sure that if he did call the authorities, nothing will happen. Now, of course, you know, does he violate the terms of service of social media? Oh, absolutely, yes, very dangerous, so hard. Uh, but you're also damaging the reputation of your company if you decide to pursue this, which, in my opinion, is not how a community developer should behave to his customers. But again, America is a very progressive country, much more progressive than Eastern Europe, where I troll. And uh, they have new ways of doing marketing, new ways of doing business uh, that my little Eastern European brain cannot even comprehend. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the comment section. Take care.